Welcome back to the channel, Homemaker. I'm so glad you're here today. In today's video, I'll be sharing six things in homemaking that really matter. Are you spending your time as a homemaker on the things that really matter? It may not be what you think. It's not the meal planning, the cooking, the cleaning, or the laundry. Even though those things are important, it's more important to be present. God puts you in your family for a reason. You are irreplaceable. No one can love and care for your family in the way you do. One of my favorite parts of being a homemaker is that I get to spend lots of quality time with my family. Sometimes that's one-on-one -on -one with each child, and sometimes it's all of us together. Recently, Jack went out of town. He's part of the Young Farmers Association, and he got to go to a different part of Georgia and tour three different farms. And while he was gone, that gave us an opportunity to spend quality time with Maggie. We took her for a day in downtown Savannah, just the three of us. Just a few weeks later, all four of us headed out to the beach together. I just love going to the beach. It is so relaxing. It's so nice to get away from technology and just enjoy nature and each other's company. cleaning, meal planning, and laundry, those all are part of the job of a homemaker. But I'm coming to you as an older homemaker with a different point of view. Um, now that my kids are older, I just see things in such a different light. One thing you can do as a homemaker that really matters to your family is being a good listener and being present. I recently saw a quote that said, one of the most sincere forms of respect is listening to what another has to say. Maggie and I love visiting our favorite local coffee shop and catching up with a good long chat. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another of my videos. If this is your first time here, welcome. 
My name is Jennifer, and this channel is for women who love their homes and families and want to grow in their faith and homemaking. It's so important for you to have a hobby as a homemaker. Find something that brings you joy and just fills you up. For me, I love gardening. It's so fun to plan and dream. Last year's garden did pretty good, so this year we decided to put even more work into it. We went and bought a load of dirt, and my husband also put down some weed barrier for me. The deer have eaten everything in my garden except for my tomatoes. This was zucchini. And I also had some squash. I had so much fun planting everything and getting it ready. But unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. The deer have been eating away at our garden. I was able to get two or three jalapenos one bell pepper and a few tomatoes, but I got absolutely no squash or zucchini. We even caught three deer over there late at night, eating away at our garden. And Maggie had said, gosh, I was so mad at those deer for eating our garden. But then once I saw them, I thought, they're just hungry. to everyone who signed up for the summer mail out. I'll be sending out those vintage recipes in just a few days. I was waiting for the end of the month so that I could collect everybody's name and addresses and mail it all out at once. But I thank you ladies so much for your support and I really hope you enjoy the recipes. As a homemaker, you're always taking care of your family, but it's also important to let them take care of you Recently, I had a scary situation with my eye. I had blood coming out of the corner of my eye and it was scary. Lucky for me, Maggie had the day off work and she was able to drive me to an appointment so I could get checked out. I can't tell you how comforting it was to have her there with me and I truly appreciated it. She even went back in the room with me so she could hear what the doctor had to say. So don't forget to let your family take care of you. Esther 414 says, And who knows but that you have come to a royal position for a time such as this. Have you ever stopped to think that maybe you were born for a time such as this? Traditional marriage and family are under attack and God chose your husband just for you and your children just for you. And he placed you in your family as a homemaker to do very important work. Proverbs 14.1 says, The wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears hers down. You know, it's so funny how the older we get, the wiser we get. Did you know that the love and support you give your husband enables him to go out into the world and face all the things he has to do on his job? I truly did not realize how much I could help my husband as a homemaker. A few years ago, I decided that I was going to make it my mission to keep his work uniforms washed, folded, and in the drawer for him. And 
It's amazing what that did for him. I had no idea how much it would mean to him. I had no idea how much it would make him feel loved and cared for, and it really and truly helps him on his job. Another thing that I started doing just about a year and a half ago, my husband gets home at the same time each day, and I decided I wasn't gonna tell him that I was doing this on purpose, but I would put on a little blush, comb my hair, put on a little spray, and go outside and wait for him every afternoon to come home from work. And then I would greet him with a big hug and a kiss. And ladies, let me tell you, it didn't take long at all for him to notice. And it makes him feel so loved. One day I wasn't able to be out there. I had an appointment or something. It was the first time that I wasn't able to be out there. And he told me, he said, I missed you. I didn't know what to do with you not being out there to greet me. So we truly do have the power to help our husbands and our children um, by just doing those little things for them. There are so many hard days in life that when something special happens, it's an occasion to celebrate. My son Jack recently got a new job. He's still working at the farm where he had been working, but a new position came open and he interviewed with a panel of four people and he was so nervous, but he did get the job as assistant farm manager. He's now working 40 hours a week and going to college. And I thought this new promotion was an occasion to celebrate. So I made homemade macaroni and cheese, his favorite dessert, which is lunch lady brownies. And we picked up some barbecue from a local restaurant. Today we're going on a date to the farmer's market and we're so excited to be bringing y'all along with us. We found this cute little park to eat lunch at. We brought our lunch from home and picked up dessert at the farmer's market. What are some things that matter to you in your homemaking? Tell us down in the comment section below. We can all share our ideas and gain inspiration from each other. place we went on our date was Agra Supply for my husband. I also enjoy coming here. They have such a neat selection of cast iron and cookbooks.
This is our little haul from the farmer's market yesterday. We picked up some jelly, some peaches, and a little bouquet of flowers. Don't forget that God puts you in your home for a reason. He chose your family specifically for you, and He has important work for you to do. Let's spend our time and energy on the things that really matter. Friends, thank you so much for being here today. If you have a prayer request, please leave it down in the comment section. I consider it an honor to pray for you. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you ladies. And until next time, happy homemaking.